Hello, Math World, and welcome to Izzo Math. What is O? Well, what is O today is trigonometric identities. And we're going to talk about a few identities, walk through some kind of hand wavy proofs of them, do some pictures so that we believe these identities. Okay? So let's jump to it. The uh, first identity we're going to do is the fundamental identity cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 1. I think we've already done this one, but it's worth looking at again. It is probably the most important identity. Let's draw a quick circle here. Okay. And let's take an arbitrary angle theta. Alright. And we know that the horizontal portion of it is cosine theta, that's the x value, and the vertical portion is sine theta, that is this this point here is cosine theta sine theta, that's how we defined cosine and sine in the beginning, it's the cosine is the x coordinate when we're on the unit circle and sine is the y coordinate. Okay. Ah, so, and we know we're on the unit circle, so we know this thing has a radius of 1, thus this hypotenuse here has a length of 1, and we know this here is a right angle, so we can use the Pythagorean theorem to get that cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 1. That is, this side squared plus that side squared equals the hypotenuse squared. And that gives us the fundamental identity of cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. Now let's go to another one. Uh, let's look at these identities here. Uh, we'll take them one at a time. Uh, let me draw a circle. We'll first show that uh, cosine negative theta. First show this one. Cosine negative theta equals cosine theta. I need a pretty circle for this. And... on the unit circle here. I want to put the arrow on that. Hold on. Here we go. Is that nice? Okay. And so let's take an arbitrary angle theta. So there's my radius and there's theta. Okay. So if that's theta, let's look at uh, negative theta. It would be down in here. Okay. And so this, we have the point here, this is going to be cosine theta, sine theta. Okay? And if you look directly under here, we see, so this point, just by the, defin by, by the negative theta there, we know it's cosine of negative theta, sine of negative theta. Well, the cosine, they both have the same, they both have the same x coordinate there, so this can be rewritten as uh, the cosine negative theta is simply cosine theta. It's the same thing. That is, they both have the same x coordinate, and for the y coordinate, for the y coordinate, we see that that y coordinate is the same magnitude as that one, it's just in, in the different direction, so uh, we can rewrite uh, the sine theta portion as negative sine theta. Okay, uh, therefore, cosine theta, cosine of negative theta equals cosine theta. Just by looking at looking at our picture here, and we get that sine of negative theta equals sine negative sine theta. Again, just looking at our picture here, we see these relationships. Uh, so that gives me that gives me both of these: cosine negative theta equals cosine theta, and sine negative theta equals negative sine theta. Okay, now for the let's go in yellow here for. For this one, uh, 
we can we can just use what we've already shown here. Let's say uh, tangent tangent of negative theta equals sine of negative theta over cosine of negative theta. Well, here we were showing we showed in the, we were showing in this diagram this whole diagram here we showed that sine negative theta is negative sine theta and that cosine theta is or cosine negative theta is equivalent to just cosine theta that is they have the same x coordinate uh, and so we get that tangent theta equals that is a neg tangent of negative theta this expression here is a negative tangent theta. Okay, so that gives us uh, therefore tangent negative theta equals negative tan theta. So that gives me that identity. Again, we, we want to look at these things, and these identities want to need to make sense. Uh, it's a lot easier to remember things when they make sense, and it's not just pure memorization uh, based on no rationale. Um, let's see how much time I'm looking at. 6.32? I think we've got time for one more identity here. Uh, these cosine of pi over 2 minus theta equals sine theta, and the other two here. Let's prove these. I need a triangle to do these nice and easy. Okay, so let's make a triangle this triangle right here. I wish I had a triangle, f a, a button on my program here that would easily draw triangle. you think they would have that. But not yet. So we have a 90 degree angle here. Let's call this angle theta. Alright, and if that angle is theta, then this angle up here is going to be uh, pi over 2 minus theta or 90 oops 90 or in degrees it's going to be 90 degrees minus theta degrees or pi over 2 minus theta radians depending on whatever theta is in uh, so make sure that makes sense so a pi uh, a triangle has 180 degrees we have 90 here okay we have theta here and so these other two must add up to 90 to give me 180, so clearly it's going to be 90 minus theta if theta is in degrees, or pi over 2 minus theta if theta is in radians, because pi over 2, that is, equi pi over 2 radians is equivalent to 90 degrees. Okay, so let's call this side A, call this side B, call this side C, and let's switch colors here. So let's look at theta. Uh, well, let's look at the cosine of pi over 2 minus theta cosine of pi over 2 minus theta well we simply look at we're on, we're on this side so the cosine of that angle is going to be the adjacent over the hypotenuse so equals b over c well let's look at the sine Oops, let me switch colors here let's look at the sine of theta well we're in this angle so the sine is going to be B over C. So that implies that cosine of pi over 2 minus theta equals sine theta. So that gives me that one. Right, just a couple minutes here. Uh, now let's look at sine of pi over 2 minus theta. So we're in this side. So the sine is going to be A over C. So that equals A over C. Now if we look at the cosine of theta, we're on this side. So the cosine of that angle is going to be adjacent A over our hypotenuse equals A over C. So we get, so we get this relationship is true there. And to find the tangent, uh, let's do it algebraically. Let's say, let's go in yellow again, tangent 
of pi over 2 minus theta. This is going to equal to the sine of pi over 2 minus theta over the cosine of pi over 2 minus theta, which equals from what we just found. Uh, so sine equals that, so cosine of theta over and the cosine of pi over 2 minus theta equals sine theta. And that does indeed equal 1 over tangent theta. Okay, so that proves that identity. All right, I'll see you in the next video, and we'll be talking about a couple more identities. All right, peace.